and fold it loose for a minute. And the first thing you know about folding it loose is beautiful. Is to uh, make sure that you have um, that strata pike, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, will you hand me that shoe? Let me just bring it over. Oh. I couldn't that. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you got that fold it loose then. She's solid, right? Yeah. Okay, let's talk about, I always teach with potential fall first. This is something you want to be mindful of before you start anything, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you're doing super yogi here. More than likely you'll fall either side. That way, more, I don't think you'll fall this way. It's, it's no. too common because your legs are counterbalancing. That's what your side Yeah, you're falling left or right this way. Keep your arms up, drop the feet. Okay? okay. Make sure that she's aware that if there's a fall, to bring your feet down first. The thing great about folded leaf is your feet are very, very low. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take a lot of time to bring your feet down. Right. Okay? So same same principle. Pushing up with your arms, dropping your feet. Mm -hmm. When you're going, especially when you're going timber this way, mm -hmm. to the side, when you keep your legs straight, it's a higher distance to fall from. If you bend a bit, it's going to help your flyer get their feet down first. Okay? Maybe as a flyer too, that's something that we could teach them. When like, if you feel like you're going to fall, it's counterintuitive, but push. Push away? Yes, because you're pushing into the, right. your base. It helps keep your torso up. Right. Yeah. Because that's not something that we always learned. We kind of had to figure it out. Yeah. But I mean, I do it now just as just a just be just having done it. Yes. But as a new person, I don't. What did you do when you were falling as a new person? As a new person, I just reached for the ground. Yeah. You know, like so. If we were here and I started to fall, I would just. Yeah. I would just come by your head and just hope I didn't smash my face into yours. Yeah. <laughs> um, that could actually be a good strategy, though. To grab, to reach for the ground? Yeah. If, Embrace yourself? If, if your base, let's say your base, doesn't know to push you up to, mm -hmm. okay, I'm, I'm flying, so I, I mean, I'm based, so I've done this uh, uh, a bit, so I know to push with you. Mm -hmm. But you're falling, you're, and you're, you're base, the most common thing as a new base for me is, I never gave enough arms. Mm -hmm. So if there's a yes. falling, I'll collapse too. Maybe it's a good idea to breach for the ground. Yeah. For you. you well, know? if you're reaching for the ground, you're still pushing. You're still, you're still pushing. pushing. Yeah. So the point is push. Push away. Yeah. yeah. And so if your base is pushing with you, that helps a lot because you're getting higher. Right. But mm -hmm. even if your base, if your base is collapsing, collapses, you're pushing you're down pushing. enough towards the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Your and idea. You're slowing yourself down. Yeah. Yeah. You want to slow your fall, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna push up so let's do another fall. Yeah. So even if I'm not pushing, you're able to support yourself. Yeah. The idea is to disperse the weight. Mm -hmm. Feet, feet, hands, hands. Mm -hmm. If you're taking all the weight in one foot, that's a lot of weight. Yeah. If you're taking all your weight in one hand, a lot. But if you're able to disperse it, fall on your hands, your elbows, your hips, roll with it, it's going to be a lot lighter. And we're talking forward at leaf first, not, not, not too, too bad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Up, forward at leaf first. Let's talk super yogi. Super yogi, what I do is from here, first I establish my balance, make sure I'm solid. No movements in first, right? And every movement that your flyer makes, if she score me, it's gonna make it hard for you. So she's gotta stay nice and relax. And it's hard to do when you're first flying, right? When you're mm -hmm. flying a brand new flyer, they're gonna be squirmy because they've never been weightless. Mm -hmm. And to feel that, they're they're gonna feel a little scared, like, oh, I have to fall, right? So help them relax. Um, and it, it, will, it will take some time for them to relax, right? So once you're here and you got them Try to pipe nice and deep. You'll walk, grab the wrist. One thing I learned is don't just do this. Go with your forearms first. This makes it feel safer. Mm -hmm. Form the form and then extend out. Your forearms are still connected. So now there's pushing. There's more connection too. Mm -hmm. So it's nice. And then from here, here comes up. Just do this for now. But the idea with super yoga is giving that lumbar stretch. In order to do that, we have to do a counterbalance. So this is going to be very different. Right now, you're in forward and leap still. It's a similar shape that you've done. Mm -hmm. But when you start counterbalancing, pulling your legs, watch my legs going away. And as my legs go away, I'm pulling my arms back this way. Right? When you're doing that, now it's a different balance. It's, it's a, using more of your, your core to keep your flyer up. Because they could fall down this way really fast. Yeah. So it's the, it's the balance of pulling back this way and then pulling away this way okay. to make that traction, it's called traction, right? Create that traction. And what she's doing really well, she's giving me that nice strata pike. Brand new flyers won't do that. And so your feet will slip right off. Mm -hmm. So you gotta make sure yeah, to tell I them strata pike, right? And when they don't understand what strata pike is, tell them 
see if you can touch the ground with your toes. Touch the ground, but yeah. Bring your toes, try to touch the ground. Bring them all the way down. Even more like that. So that means engaging the hips and engaging in your core to Rolling be able to bring it down. I rolled my hips yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're pulling this way while bringing your legs that way. Okay. If you feel like this is slippery, sometimes this is a little slippery. Another grab you can do is tell them to bring the fingers together and actually grab the inside of the hands like okay. this with your other hand on top like that. And when you do that, you can push this way and then pull that way. So that's another grab you can okay. do. Great. Along with the form of form. But I would do this first. Just find that balance first. If there's a fall, you know, to drop your feet, arms up. Okay. okay. Same thing with the side, pushing the arms to drop the feet. Create that traction. Good, let's go. All right. <laughs>